हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल प्रोग्रामिंग विद अ पर्पज सो टूडे आई बी डिस्कसिंग सम मोर टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स टू इस्टेब्लिश योर सेल्फ एज अ फ्री लैंस डेवलपर ऑन अपर्क सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एट डू नॉट अप्लाई टू जॉब्स दैट आर रीजन कंट्री और लैंग्वेज स्पेसिफिक इफ यू डू नॉट मीट दैट क्राइटेरिया डू नॉट वेस्ट यूर कनेक्ट्स ऑन सच जॉब इंस द बायर हैज समथिंग इन माइंड वेन दे पुट फोर्थ सच रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो अवॉइड अप्लाइंग टू सच जॉब्स इफ यू डू नॉट मीट दोज रिक्वायरमेंट्स If you are a beginner then go for the jobs such as bug fixing and a little bit of feature addition uh, so that the clients are confident that you are able to handle the work and then you can basically proceed with those clients on a larger scale or you can get some reviews of your work that will help you establish yourself on upwork then you can basically opt for other long term and proper development projects so this will help you to basically boost your profile on upwork It is great if you apply on the jobs that are not older than 24 hours and less than 50 proposals. If you are a beginner with no professional experience then do not apply for the jobs greater than 20 proposals. You are most probably going to lose against other experienced freelancers. Only apply on jobs that are older than 24 hours and 50 have greater than 50 proposals. If the job is long term or the requirements are a lot for a job like they require a full stack developer or require a lot of skills and experience in that case you have a good chance against other freelancers if you have the relevant experience because the client then would want to get the best person to work with since they have to work on a bigger project or for a long term and they will basically try to look into all the proposals before finalizing the talent until they find a suitable one Apart from programming tools and technologies learn about some helper tools that will help you to get started with different tasks such as some clients require that you should have an understanding of tools such as Jira for bug tracking and task tracking tools and task lo- logging tools and websites such as Slack and Trello so do get an understanding of these tools and technologies in your spare time so that will give you an edge over other developers and also mention it in your portfolio Also do not stop looking for jobs once you are hired for one job if you can handle more than one job if you have the time and skills do not hesitate to apply for more jobs while having one but do cap it to a maximum count which is suitable according to your own skills and availability because quality of work can get seriously affected if you take more work there than you can handle i usually cap it to 3 projects at a time lastly provide updates to the client as initially decided by the both parties do not delay try to share the first build with the client as soon as you can and then start developing other features and fixing those bugs reported by the client or other feedback provided by the client so this is all for this tutorial to guide you about the tips that will help you flourish your freelancing career on upwork specifically and on other platforms generally if there are any questions ask in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to this channel I will try to do some more videos on enrollment process at Turing and Toptal with my personal experience so stay tuned thank you for watching